Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, and welcome to Starlight Zone, the first fast zone in the game, really, since Green Hill, and this is also going to be the shortest zone in the game, because now that we have all six Chaos Emeralds, there's no need to actually try and get them. Thank the Lord. And actually, Starlight Zone here is my second favorite, uh, it's either my second favorite or my favorite track in the game. Green Hill Zone is its competitive rival there, because I love this track so much. In fact, I can say this with ease, in Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis, it's the only good song that sounds good with that sound chip. I think I missed a massive shortcut there, actually, but I'm not too sure because, remember, I haven't played this game in quite the amount of years! But Starlight Zone itself, besides being obviously green and somehow in a city on Mobius when there's not supposed to be many humans whatsoever, is a rather fun zone to go through. The speed is much refreshing after all the platforming bullcrap you have to go through in uh, the Labyrinth Zone. And it's a nice break because this is the last fast level in the game, I'm just gonna say that right now. You get you get a lot of speed in Green Hill, you get some in Spring Yard, but in here is where you get the last of it. And by lord do they do it well because this is probably the, my favorite zone in the game overall. Good mix of platforming and speed. Blast processing! Even though we don't really see the blast processing until Sonic 2. And that's the first act over, yay! Uh, no more chaos symbols to get. And wow, my score actually reached over 200,000. Too bad it's not gonna stay like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to that when we get to the next zone. Act 2 starts off with Spring, which, unlike in Spring Yard, I actually recommend you take for a quick boost of speed. And this is the fastest level in the entire zone, or act zone, I believe. But I can't really judge, because unlike Sonic, other Sonic games where it gives you overall time, uh, or max speed, this just gives you the normal results screen. In fact, I think this has the most bare-bones results screen in the series. But I went by, eh, doesn't it? I, mean, I don't know, I know. The one thing I have against this zone, really, is that everything's green and it's these things as well. These things... Ugh. They're alright in this version. They're, they can be kind of annoying, especially if you get, go too far, but the main annoyance is them in Sonic Genesis. Their physics are so wonked out... It's not even funny. And I fell too far in an accident. Didn't, and I have no idea what happened with the graphics there. And with that, I believe we're done. Oh, yeah, we're right, we're right next to the ending, believe it or not. But for some reason, I'm not sure if this is my emulator or something, but I have a lot of trouble with this slope for like the next 20 seconds, I want to say. Uh, yeah, I'd say about that. I've been having a lot of trouble with slopes and outtakes, actually. I'm not sure why. But that's probably just me ha being dumb and not playing this game in over three or four years. I, I, actually, that's probably not even accurate. I don't, I don't even remember the last time I played this. Uh, I played Sonic 2 and 3 so much more. And yeah, Act 2's done. Feels kind of weird not having any special stages, actually. And the thing is, even though we completed the special stages in Spring Yard Zone, I believe... Yeah, Spring Yard. The Labyrinth Zone just goes by so slowly. There's a reason it's my least favorite zone in the game. In fact, there's a lot of people's least favorite, but... Thankfully, we'll at least get some other speed other than Green Hill, and is it glorious. But I will mention this once again, the one annoying thing about Sonic 1, besides Labyrinth Zone overall in the special stages, is the speed cap that Sonic has. He can only go to a certain speed. I, he can go a lot faster in Sonic 2, it's just that, in fact, I think he has unlimited speed. But, well, maybe not, I'm not too sure. But the thing is, it just takes a while and I got hit while invincible. Only I can do that. <laughs> but, uh... I think they need to raise the speed gap or something in Sonic 2 because he can go a lot faster in the sequel, especially in Supersonic with speed shoes. Holy crap, that speed's fantastic.
The one thing I really don't like about Sonic 1 overall, though, is the geometry of the levels. Green Hill, I don't mind really that much, because I've seen it so many times. But everything else, uh, it's blocky. In sure, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, can, you can say the same thing for, but it's especially noticeable in this, because of the way the graphics are designed. Because this was a fairly early Genesis game, 1992, I believe. Is that 1991 or 1992? Hmm. I want to say 91. Yeah, 91, I believe. Because uh, Sonic Generations came out in 2011. And that was the 20th anniversary. 25th 20th anniversary. Good God, Sonic's turning 22. And now we have this boss, which, if you're playing Genesis, is pathetically easy because you don't need to do the gimmick whatsoever. You can jump to, to him due to the screen crunch in the Game Boy Advance version. Game Boy Advance version. But in this, you have to manipulate these seesaws to launch the bombs into uh, Robotnik, as I'm doing right here. Fairly easy boss, actually. Just be careful not to get hit by the particles that these bombs shoot out when they explode. Because that can get rather annoying, actually. But, but once you get his pattern down, he is pathetic. But yet again, a boss made a lot easier in Game Boy Advance. I, I can say the only boss that's really any difficult in the Game Boy Advance version, bosses really, are Labyrinth Zones and the final boss himself. Free the pages! And that's the end of, of Starlight Zone. Sadness. And this is where stuff have to be over. I died off screen actually. I got a game over, which is why my score is now back at zero. Because Scrap Brain Zone hates me. What, what the? I glitched into that pack little thing there. But everything was not going. <laughs> I guess the best way to describe it is that things were hitting me when they shouldn't have. I like there's a caterpillar coming up down here, I believe. If the yeah. This caterpillar, actually, I was like at the edge of the wall. It hit me from a distance. I'm not sure what happened there, and I just couldn't get away from it. But I'm not gonna blame the game for that. It's probably my bad luck. <laughs> Storing after after a while, and I was, I, was thinking, I was wondering if I got the shield actually. By the way, good luck beating this level in the in Sonic Genesis, because the screen crunch and various other physics problems make this the hardest level in the game by far, which is, mind you, it is appropriate because it is the final stage, but it doesn't in such an unfair way. Oh, what the, I just warped backwards there, and I got saved by knockback for once. That's the first time that's happened to me since I was lost playing Castlevania 2. Wait, was it Castlevania 2 or Castlevania 4? Oh wait, no, it was Rondo of Blood. Was it? I'm having trouble remembering right now what level was the last Castlevania game I played that had knockback. Probably Rondo of Blood. But that's not talking about that yet. It's like it's not. For some reason, actually, whenever I see this, those little pla those raised platforms that raise upwards in the pigs, I always think of uh, one ar small arc in the Sonic X comics, actually, where. Eggman sent Sonic back in, like, into a virtual reality with everyone where they were going to like the Sonic 1 stages, which is actually one of my favorite arcs from the Sonic X comics. Now, by the way, something I don't take advantage of these little wheels here is rolling in a ball, because that makes these things so much more bearable to control. Because these things, they have some weird physics to them. It's not like they have their own, their own gravity field or anything, but it's kind of... Well, I think the more precise thing is jumping off them is a bit w uh, weird. Because the angles you most likely jump off on. The rolling does make it more bearable, and plus I think you can go... I think that's actually one of the best ways to reach the speed cap. I want... My... Shield! Ooh, that was weird. That... I've had a lot of glitchy jumps in this run, actually, although you, I edited out a majority of them through deaths, but... Eh. but yeah, I died a lot in this run, by the way. <laughs> this game does not like me. Sonic 2 likes me a lot more. Maybe it's because we never owned this one when I was a kid. We only had Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 standalone. 
I will say though that this is actually probably one of my favorite tracks in the game. I'm not sure what it is about it. Although my favorite track, it may no oh, Starlight Zone's not even my favorite track or Green Hill. Uh, that's like an upcoming song. By the way, hi, reappearing, disappearing blocks from Mega Man. You're totally not annoying still. Well, actually, they're not. They're much easier to traverse through. The thing is, in this run, I think I just got blindsided by a lot of stuff. That's why I died so much, because I have not played this game in a while, as I've said multiple times, I'm sure, by this point. That, and because of that, I just tend to forget where things are. I mean, I remembered Green Hill and, uh... Marble Zone perfectly, but I think that's because those are where I, the zones I played the most in this game. And, yay, we're done with Act 2, and we're actually about to hear the first part of my first, my favorite track in the game. Actually, I just realized, I think from now on, every intro is going to have my favorite song in the game. <laughs> I don't know why I sang like that. <laughs> and there's the fat a-hole, fat egg himself. Robotnik! Welcome to Labyrinth Zone Act 4! Why? Anyway, massive shortcut here. Go down here. You skipped like 35% of the level, not even 30, probably like 30 to 50% of the level there, because this is the hardest zone in the game, not the first act in the game by far. I hate this zone, especially in Sonic Genesis. Can you tell I hate Sonic Genesis? And the thing is, I think this is actually my favorite way act of all the Labyrinth Zone style acts. I'm not sure if it's because it's silvery gray, because silver is actually my favorite color. And yet I didn't do Pokemon silver. Probably because crystal's better. <laughs> Dirt. I had no way of knowing that was there after playing this game in so long. Seriously, Sonic Genesis makes that all so annoying, and yay, we're out! And now we get to hear the full version of Final Zone, which is rather short and repetitive, actually. Still an awesome song. Final boss against Eggman himself. I've, I've, alternated, betw I've alternated between Eggman and Robotnik throughout this one, haven't I? Basic pattern is that two of these pl his, these things will randomly... Not even search random, it's probably some sort of weird AI, AI scripts equation. Well, raise or lower one he, Eggman's in one of them. You can get crushed by that, by the way. In fact, one time, you get, one time I'm playing Sonic Genesis, I got crushed when I was nowhere near them. And... Then he also shoot, shoot down those uh, electric balls, which look like the spark shot from Mega Man 3, actually. And there's actually a fun glitch you can do in this fight, if you feel like doing it, is that after you destroy him, if you can manage to hit him once more when he's high when he's lowering back into the ground or going back into the ceiling one last time. Something weird will happen to his AI script and his HP will jump from 0 to 255. You have to hit him 255 times more more times to defeat him and it's annoying, but at the same time it's rather interesting for those who want to challenge. I've done it a couple times. I barely freaking made it under the time limit of 10 minutes, but uh, I still did it. I think that's the only way I've actually gotten a legitimate time over besides a, a thing in Sonic 4. Oh, uh, Sonic 4. <sighs> I'll get to you at some point. The thing is, this boss isn't even really that hard. It's just time consuming. It could take a while to beat him. But if you just play your cards right, make sure you don't get crushed and don't get hit by those accidentally. You should be fine. So yeah, you, yeah, to get through that glitch, you'd have to hit him like right then. And then for some reason, he's faster than Sonic. Like I mentioned, Sonic too. And you can actually, you actually don't have to jump it. I was actually controlling the jump into that Eggmobile or Eggomatic or whatever it's called. And that's a nice little thing you can do. Although it doesn't really change anything. And now, this is a little change that happens if you get all six Chaos Emeralds. They fly off like the Dragon Balls. Yay, flowers! And that, my friends, is the end of Sonic the Hedgehog. A darn great start to the series, although it does have its problems. First off, some of the levels are just not enough speed emphasized. This Marble Zone, while I do like it personally, and Labyrinth Zone immediately come to mind. Some of the other ones are Green Hill, though. Green Hill, Marble, in my opinion, 
that though, because marble while slow is still rather fun to me. And Starlight and Spring Yard are fantastic. This is... I would recommend this game to those who are die, to, to, bleh, to die hard Sonic fans. However, I would not recommend it to those who are fans of... to people who want to get into the series. If I'm going to recommend a title for people to get started with, it will be Sonic 3 or Sonic 2. But for those who want to try out the first one, go right ahead. It is still a great time, except for Labyrinth Zone, appropriately. Everyone will hate Rob Rob Labyrinth Zone, seriously. <laughs> But overall, this game is great, still. The graphics for the early Genesis are fantastic, because the Genesis is graphically inferior to the SNES, I believe. The soundtrack, any Sonic soundtrack is the best you'll hear on the, on the Genesis, because for some reason the instruments sound nothing like the Genesis. And the speed can get really fun, although yet again, in Sonic 1, the speed cap can get annoying. I will say that this is probably, act while this is, still, I have mentioned this is a great start to the series, all the, all the later games, aside from Genesis, 06, Sh Sh and Shadow, are better than this. But for those who want to try it, check it out, go right ahead. You, you will have a great time in, in a lot of the stages, all the Labyrinth Zone will annoy you. But, that's it for me here, this, bleh, for me here. Good God, that poured the end screen, how heavy that must be. Thank you guys for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys next Let's Play. See you guys then.